Checking on Money Matters this morning, Samsung's new foldable smartphone is a hit. And a U.S. natural gas facility is the victim of a hack attack. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ mm -hmm. with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning to you, Jane. So experts have warned that our energy industry is vulnerable. We've heard this recently, but specifically right. the hacks. And now mm -hmm. one has happened? Now we have one that happened. So a U.S.-based natural gas facility had to actually shut down operations for two days after a ransomware attack. The Department of Homeland Security prevented personnel from receiving crucial real-time operational data from control and also communications equipment. That was the result of the hack. The government did not name the company impacted, though. Nearly half of Americans are unfaithful to their partners, but we're talking financially. Uh, yes. We're talking money. Uh, half of adults uh, have, uh, in fact, said that they have some kind of a secret account, uh, maybe some debt that the partner doesn't know about, or they spend more than what uh, their partner would think would be appropriate. Millennials, by the way, according to the survey by creditcards.com, uh, did find that they have the most incidents of financial infidelity. They always find out that spouse. All right, so Jane, <laughs> Galaxy Z Flip is currently sold out online, really? Uh, that's right. Samsung says a limited number of devices do remain in stores across the country, uh, but many are out of stock. Now, tomorrow, the Galaxy S20 is available for pre-order. So those looking for a 5G phone uh, will be looking for that. And it's also when uh, they'll be making additional Galaxy Z Flip devices available online, if you like that flip phone. So we'll see if people flip out about that. Thank you, Jane. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you.